Hey guys, how are you? Well, I just thought I would come along tonight and give you an honest review of what it was like to go to uh, Madame Two Swords in Sydney today with my family. So it was me, my husband Marcus, and our little two and a half year old Kiki. So basically, we booked to go to Madame Two Swords about two months ago, or just under two months ago, because you get 60 days that you're able to go if you buy all of the passes for all of the different attractions in Sydney. So we bought the attraction for Sea Life, we bought the Sydney Tower, we also bought um, Madame Two Swords, and we bought Wildlife Sydney. And that then gave us 60 days to visit all of those while we had Marcus's daughters here from Brazil. And we had obviously today a couple of things left over and we wanted to get those done. So we headed in to Madame Two Swords. But to be able to do that, we had to book online first. It's all a pretty easy process. Um, you just put it in via their website and you book the time and the date that you'd like to attend. So we booked today for 11 a.m. We drove into the city and we parked in near Darling Quarter in a parking station there. And then we walked down to uh, Madame Tussauds. So the parking station that we stayed in uh, was pretty good for the city. Um, I signed up online first and then we were able to pay $17.60 for the whole day, which is a pretty good price for the city on the weekends. We went down to Madame Two Swords and we were able to just scan the tickets that were in my email and we could walk in. Now, when we did do that, uh, we already knew that two of the tickets had been used by Marcus's daughters. So I mentioned that at the door and the guy did scan four, our four tickets anyway. Um, that may or may not have been problematic at the next stop, which was um, the wildlife centre that we went to, Wildlife Sydney. Uh, because when we went to scan in there later on, the tickets looked like they had already been used. The lady was kind. I explained the situation to her. I had been a little bit concerned about it when we entered um, Madame Two Swords, and so I did go back and get the guy's name, um, and look, they let us in, so it worked out for us in the end anyway, but I would just say just be really um, attentive, I guess, of how many tickets are actually scanned when you're going into one of these places. Um, so anyway, we headed on in to Madame Two Swords and I just wanted to give you a rundown of like the types of things you're able to see there. So it has changed since the last time I was there and I must have been there maybe six or seven years ago. So you kind of expect that things would change a bit. Um, but when I went in this time, they had some Australian uh, poets and Australian, I guess, um, well-known figures from our past, from history. Uh, which was really interesting to have a look at. I hadn't seen that last time and I really enjoyed it. And as a teacher, I thought like taking some photos of Henry Lawson and Banjo Patterson would be really cool to put into my poetry units at school. And so I did that. <laughs> and then we moved on into the next room and it was kind of like world leaders. So in the world leaders room, they obviously had um, the British monarchs and they also had uh, many Australian politicians and just famous world politicians um, that have obviously made their mark on history. So Brack. Obama, Mahatma Gandhi. I don't know, I can't remember who else I had. Um, but then you left that room and you went into kind of this room where there were Australian sports stars. Um, and that was really cool. They had, you know, hurdlers, cricketers, and lots of other people in there as well swimmers, basketball players. You want to be in the video? Okay. Hey. Hello. Oh, careful. Okay, say hi. Hi, <laughs> we've got a little visitor now. Now the whole time Kiana was with us and so at times she was a bit bored because she didn't really know like who any of the people were and she was running around. So is it a place for a two and a half year old? I'm not so sure, but we made it work. We wanted to see what it was like. But she tried really hard to just keep up with us and make sure that she wasn't uh, doing anything naughty. And there were parts in there that uh, she was allowed to have a look around. So like there was a Spider-Man in there and she, she really liked the look of that. So they also had a pride section, so that was pretty cool. And it was all hooked up with like Mardi Gras and the ideas of Mardi Gras and Oxford Street and things like that. So that was really interesting to see. Um, then they also had sort of like singers and artists. And of course, they had Taylor Swift at the moment, which was awesome because she's just been to Australia. I wouldn't say her costume was the best, but people were taking photos with her over and over again. So that was pretty awesome. They had some movie stars and they had musicians. There were loads of great wax statues. And um, I did find out that each one costs around $2,000 to make. 
and then they are made in the UK and shipped to Australia. And they're shipped to Australia. They can only come in the costume that they're in and they're not able to alter the, the clothing either, which I found really interesting to discover. I definitely really enjoyed it, but I knew who most of the people were. My husband is from Brazil and he um, kind of knew the characters from films and things like that, but wasn't so familiar with the Australian artists that were obviously in there as well. So um, he did tend to speed through a lot quicker than me. Uh, I took some footage. Uh, look, in general, I'd say it's really worth going. Um, because it is something fun to do in the middle of Sydney and it is something different. It's certainly not something you do every year, but I think doing it like I did sort of once every five to ten years is really cool because you see all of like the changes of uh, people and the different styles in the wax museums. And I imagine that around the world they're a little bit different in each country. They probably focus in more on the, the local artists in, in different countries as well. So here they had like um, Alf from Home and Away and they had Harold from Neighbours. <laughs> and They did also have E.T. as well, which was really cool. Marcus is here in this one with E.T. And um, Jackie Chan and Leo DiCaprio and also Marilyn Monroe. So they had loads of famous stars that you would obviously know and love. So yeah, definitely worth going to, definitely worth seeing. It was really good air conditioning in there. It was a super hot day in Sydney. So I definitely recommend going if you are around. So if you like these types of videos and I'd love it if you would like the video and subscribe to my channel and also leave me a comment and let me know where you've been to the Wax Museum because I'd really love to hear about it. <laughs> okay, see you later guys. Bye.